Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a custom loop macro with a timer. This macro can be useful for if you're doing a program in which you have a huge world or you have a lot of detail inside and running this loop will cause problems if it's going too fast and cause complications and sometimes you need a delay in there for it to slowly process all the data. Um, for example, this one we have in a small example there won't be problems but this one we have five people we start it instantly gets them all but when the world gets bigger sometimes the two might be where the one is or the three might be where there it is I had this problem with my game where I had a bunch a huge city and it was running this um, loop where it was checking each uh, character that was in there and assigning them a number and then I would have the five before the three or you know it was just complicated and it caused a lot of errors so like this one where it does it instantly we can't simply just add a delay in front of well in the loop body because for some reason uh the unreal engine just doesn't like it and it will just say number five get the last one and then it won't do anything else but if we just remove that it will get them all and it will run through all the data. Now the macro I have, which is right up here, it can do it with a delay right here. One, two, three, four, and a Lucky Charms five. That is built into this delay. You can choose however long you want it. Maybe if you don't want that big of a gap in time. You can just do it every point and then boom, instant. All right, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, you can use this in fire rates. It really depends on how you want it. This one for mine, that way I set it up, is for actors and <clears throat> actors and arrays. So we're just gonna look into that right now. And yeah, it should be, should be a little bit of fun. All right, let's get started. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna add a new macro. You can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it timer loop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some inputs. Now the first input we wanna add is going to be a first index. First index. And we're gonna make this an integer. And this is where, say if you want to skip a few points or however you wanna set it up, maybe you already have a preset number that you wanna link in to where it should start off, this is where you will plug it into. The next one is an array. This one is because I want to, it to count actors, so I need it to take the length or the amount of actors that it counted and put that in. For this, we're gonna need to make it a wildcard and not a single reference, but an array. Then the next one we're gonna do is the duration of how long we wanna delay for. And we're gonna make that a float and make sure, since you just made an array, you have to switch it back to single variable. Now right click beside inputs and you're just gonna type assign and just drag it right over to the inputs and then it should add a node. And you just put that at the top. Now for the outputs, we are going to add a few. We're gonna add a executable and we're gonna call this loop body type that wrong there we go the next one will be a completed and make sure these are exe executables you can just see them right at the top when you type it in right there the next one will be an index and we got to make that a um, integer oh. and then the next one we got to do is array element and we can make that a wild card we will not be making an array because it needs to compress it down into a singular reference if you're gonna get grab data from that actor for example say every actor has a name it's gonna get which one it's talking it's gonna count them all get which one it's talking to and get the name from it and maybe you can have a UI spawn in and it will say the name of that actor in that specific number. So it's not grabbing a name from any other 
of the actors around it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to grab the value and we're just gonna plug it right into the assign. Pretty simple so far, but the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag off the array and we're gonna get a last index. Drag off the last index and we're gonna type that right there and then hold B and left click to add a branch. I'm gonna plug that right into there. And then with the, this piece selected, we're going to drag it over back into the last index and we're actually gonna drag the top piece over here and we're gonna call it a local variable, I mean a local integer, sorry. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit because I'm picky and drag off the array again and type in copy and then click that get a copy. And then from the integer, we're just gonna drag it back into the local variable again. There we go. Drag off get and plug that right into the array element. Simple as that. And then off false, we wanna drag into completed. And then off true, we're actually gonna type in a sequence node. And then right off of the sequence node, we're gonna write number zero. We're gonna put into loop body. And then the next one, we're gonna type in delay. And then off delay, we're gonna type in assign. And then we're gonna drag that right back into branch. And with delay, pretty simple, just plug it back into delay. Then off local integer, we're gonna drag off. We're gonna add a plus integer plus integer, and we're gonna drag a plus one. And then from that, we're gonna drag that straight into the value, oh, a little high. And then off variable, we're gonna plug it straight into local integer. There we go. Do, 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 do. Variable, plug that into local integer too, and that's pretty much it. Well, that looks a little messy, I'll admit, but it's no hard way to make a loop look nice. Compile, go to event graph, and let's just cut that off. Grab your loop, plug it in there. And then we're gonna just copy that, simple bit. Get into loop body, plug it into the index. There we go. Drag it into there, make it a delay of one second, compile, test it out. One, two, three, four. All right, so something's not working. Gotta double check what it is. Ah, yes, I forgot to add the index, my bad. Uh, you grab the index from the local variable, there we go. There we go, now it's all plugged in. Compile, play, one, two, three, four, five. And there's five of them. There you go.